perfume in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to show you how I make my Vitumbo and Daisy, which are basically banana fritters. So I'm going to show you one type of batter that you can use, which I have used one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of vegetable oil, and to that I added one teaspoon of uh, plain yogurt, and half a teaspoon of instant yeast, one teaspoon of sugar and I'm using about half a cup of water. I'm basically looking for a nice thick consistency, something like how we do the kaimati, uh, but uh, if you want it thinner than this, you can do that way if you like it too as well. So we're just going to mix it well and then cover it and let it sit to double in volume. That should take about uh, 30 minutes to an hour, depending how hot or cold your area is. All right, so we're just gonna cover it. For my second type of batter, I'm using one cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of sugar, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and we're just gonna mix that well. And I'm using half a cup of milk. So we're just going to mix it just like the first one, but this one we don't leave it to, to rise, but you're going to keep it for about 10 minutes before you start using it. Okay, so I also added a little bit of water because I'm looking for a nice thick consistency, but not too thick. Something like this. Something that can hold my, my bananas or free, uh, plantain. Okay. So now for the plantain, you want to use something that's very, very ripe, well ripe or overripe, but mine were not. I was just trying, I had to do this video before Ramadan is over, so please excuse me for that. And we're going to remove the core, which is optional. It's not necessary, but uh, I'm used to removing the core of the plantain. And for this one, I'm going to use it for my first, second batter, the baking powder one. So I'm going to cut the bananas, slice them into cubes. But you can cut them in however you like it. It's just an idea that I'm showing you. Just like that. And we are going to put them into the batter. So I feel when I have my batter this thick, it's easy they, to coat into the plantain. They coat very easily. So we are ready to fry this. And uh, once your grease is hot, I've used two spoons that you can see the big one that I used and the small one is to push the, the batter. See, because my batter is very thick, it's easy to, to pour it or to scoop it into the oil. And you're going to fry it until you get your desired color. It should take about four to five minutes on medium, medium, medium heat, not too high. All right. And I'm looking for this kind of color. So now I'm ready to get these babies out. Now for my second batter. So it's ready. I have got my plantain into big uh, slices like this and this one I did not remove the core just to show you that you can use the core too if you want to and again we're just gonna put them into the batter mix it to make sure that all the plantain slices are well coated and we're gonna fry these just like how we did the first one we're basically just repeating the process now for this one I'm using my hand just like how you do the kaimatis simply because the slices are very big And uh, it's very simple, as you can see. So they're nice and golden, and we are ready to remove them from the heat. Now you can serve this however you like it. Now these are the ones that we use the batter that has baking powder. They are dense and thick inside. And these are the ones that we use the yeast. They are hollow and crispy outside, hollow inside. Right, so we're just gonna serve this. Now you can serve this with evening tea or you can have them with snacks, or like for now in Ramadan, you can break your fast with this as well. 
So we're just going to dust some powdered sugar on the ones with the baking powder. And for the ones that had yeast better, we're going to just drizzle some honey or you can use uh, sugar syrup like the ones we use in Kaimati. Thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma of Zanzibar. You'll find the ingredients and measurements in this page and in the description box below. Thank you.